all right blessings everyone my name is jess the bless and i'm back with another video i'm trying out a new spot in front of the window today so hopefully the video comes out good and so i just wanted to come on and chat with everyone a little bit about um some of my thoughts and things i wish i knew before i adopted my kitten He got his, his doo doo butt all out. Move, Bubba. So, I was actually hoping to clip his nails, but he's playing right now, right? You're playing? Can let mommy clip your nails? No? Okay. So, I did not do a lot of research before I decided to adopt a cat. I did probably a week's worth of research, which I recommend way more than that especially if you've never had a pet before this is my very first pet and i'm hooked i think he's just he's loved my life i don't know what i would do without him now but he is a handful and so when i adopted him i actually adopted roey from best friends down on canal street and so if you guys know anything about canal street back in the day that's where people would you know get you know you'd probably be able to buy a fake bag on the side of the road and stuff like that there's a lot of that going on but it was really funny because i really wanted a cat and i was searching everywhere and all that it was like the end of kitten season and so all the kittens were taken i went to the the rescues and i was here and i was running there and i like could not get a cat for the life of me and so i was at petco looking in there they have like a section where they have a adopt sometimes they have like kitten adoptions and so i was in there and somebody was buying like a cat bowl and i was like do you mind me asking like how long have you had your cat and this girl's like oh i actually just adopted my kitten from best friend place gave me the address i literally left petco hopped on the train and went straight there and that's when i got to meet the kittens that they had they had a lot of kittens there and I found my little Roro. Come here, Rio. Hi. Yeah. He was only two months, so he's, I believe he's, he's, um, He's seven to eight months now. I have to go look at his birthday. But I think he's around eight months now. So he's still a baby. And he'll be a baby until he's one year. He's going to be a kitten. Okay, so I'm going to keep... And he's small. I know he'd be jumping around. So people think he's bigger. But he's really small still. He's still a baby. And so when I was adopting him, and I was like, yeah, like, do you think he's going to hide? Because like that's a really common thing. They were like, mm, no, like he's really confident. We think he's going to be just fine. And so I took him home. He didn't hide at all. He just started running around, walking around like he owned the place. And that's what he does when I take him anywhere. As you can see, if you guys have seen my shorts, I've actually gotten Rowie a harness and can take him outside like to the store, everything. And he is just down. He showed, he doesn't care. He's just like, okay, where what's going on? He's a curious cat. So I am happy that I have a confident cat because you think he helps me be more confident. And also when I'm traveling, I can then bring him with me because he's not afraid to go anywhere. He's always crying at the door because he wants to go outside. All right, y'all. So Rowie keeps on crying, so I'm going to take him outside. I got him a little harness and we're just going to go for a walk. I think that's really good. Now, things I didn't know were one that you have to clip your cat's nails consistently. And I'm thinking, okay, like you have to clip the nails, like, you know, no big deal, probably like once a month or once every three months. No, you have to clip your cat's nails like every two and a half weeks, depending on your cat. And like, Rowie loves to sharpen his, his nails on his scratcher and everything. So, uh, that's something that I was not prepared for because I started, you know, started getting all scratched up, scratching up my legs, my arm, all this stuff. And so <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that, but now we've kind of got it down to a system. And if you are going to be clipping your cat's nails and it's like your first time doing it, I would just say take your time. 
I got some really good advice and they were saying, you know, like do one to two nails at a time. Like don't try to get all the nails and you know, and if you're scared, they're gonna be scared and stuff like that. So I kind of did it, started to do it when he was like winding down, when he was a little bit more tired, he was comfortable and kind of like, you know, putting um, a blanket over him and like, you know, getting him used to me, like even pushing down on his paws and exposing his nails and stuff like that just to see if, uh, just so he can get a little bit more comfortable with it. Um, he doesn't love it, but sometimes he does let me, like he knows like, okay, I'm just cleaning, cleaning, um, clipping his nails. The other thing I have to do a lot is clean his ears. <laughs> so when I adopted him, he had diarrhea and ear infection and he had worms. And so that was a really big learning curve for me as well. I wanted to make sure that he was, you know, healthy and happy and whatnot. And so we, you know, he knows that like I clean his ears. Um, that's another maintenance thing. Some people brush their their cat's teeth, which I do want to start doing. I'm not sure how Rui's going to feel about that, but I do want to make sure that his teeth are healthy, his gums are healthy. Um, nobody told me that they're, you know, they lose their baby teeth. Nobody told me any of this stuff. So it was a lot for me to learn very very quickly um the other thing i would say would be just around the fact that like kittens have like i mean i have only kitten syndrome with this one because um because he's only he's always by himself and so he has like a tendency to bite and not know how sharp his teeth are because he's a kitten he's not like you know when they are when they play they bite each other and then they learn, they learn like oh these are sharp and so it's been a little bit difficult for me to try to get Rowe to not bite me. Um, so I've, you know, I have to do the whole thing where like you redirect and you walk out and you, you know, you do all this stuff, you put distance. It's just a lot of work. So um, the other thing that no one really explained is like the portions on how to feed your cat based on like their weight, which you can, you know, read the back of the package and stuff like that. But it is again, a learning curve. So those are like the main things. If I could do it all again, I probably would have watched a few more documentaries, um, would have watched more of the, I think it's like, what's his name? The Galaxy Guy on YouTube that like gives all the cat facts. I love his channel. I would have just done more research and I probably wouldn't have gotten one kit, one kit and I would have gotten two. And I was gonna get two, and I do sometimes feel a little bit guilty about not getting two cats, but I just, I didn't know anything. So I'm like, what if I have two cats and like, you know, this is like a disaster. Um, but two is better than one. So yeah, so that's really it. Um, I don't know if you guys also have had any stories when you guys adopted your cats. Um, Rowie was rescued from a shelter in North Carolina. People like touch noses so cute he's acting brand new but this is my little baby my pride and joy so that's gonna be it for today's video i pray you guys are well see look baba don't blow don't don't bite me somebody help me i'll see y'all in the next video Say bye, Bubba.